informed consent uh, is a process. Uh, so it is the process by which an investigator, uh, whether it be a physician, uh, a nurse, or anybody involved in conducting a study, talks to a, a potential uh, study subject, a patient, uh, and it gives them the information uh, that they need to really understand what would happen to them if they decided uh, to participate in a clinical trial. And so they've received the information, and not only received the information, but they understand it uh, and can spell it, uh, speak it back to you uh, to, to convey that understanding. And then once that's in place, uh, then the decision can be made in a fully informed fashion to, to move ahead. Every patient uh, comes into a study with a different backdrop of medications, of other medical problems, uh, and a history of uh, doing well, doing poorly, uh, that really the primary caregiver uh, knows much better than uh, a, an investigator who might not know that patient. And so I think that with that special relationship and the special knowledge that the patient, the family, and the primary caregiver uh, have together, I think they can really add to that informed consent process.